Prime Minister Imran Khan vowed on Sunday that he would not join the Trump administration's peace initiative with Israel, despite efforts, as he put it, to convince him to do so. Now, he alluded to the fact that there's pressure on him to make the diplomatic move, but he would not say what the source of the pressure is. Now, some reports claim the Saudi monarchy is in talks with him on the issue, and Pakistani analysts have speculated in recent weeks that normalization with Israel could, in fact, happen soon. For more insight on that issue, we're welcoming from Pakistan here. Lucky to be joined by Kaswar Klasra, the editor-in-chief at the Islamabad Telegraph. Thanks for your time with us here. Now, uh, when Prime Minister Khan talks about, uh, quote-unquote, pressure, these reports claiming it's coming from Saudi Arabia, but likely also from the Trump administration, what pressure might they be applying? Where's the leverage in there? Well, you have rightly pointed out uh, that, uh, according to my sources, uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman contacted Mr. Imran Khan and uh, he requested him to please do something uh, to, uh, uh, for Pakistan to uh, recognize Israel. But uh, according to my sources, Imran Khan did not uh, immediately give his reaction, but uh, uh, he said that, uh, you know, uh, MBS. You know, the stance of uh, you know, Pakistan and my predecessors has been, you know, reluctant in recognizing Islam. But it would not be, uh, you know, uh, uh, possible for me to immediately uh, recognize uh, uh, Israel. But uh, uh, let's see and hold on. This is what my sources told me. But interestingly, Prime Minister Imran Khan took to... Uh, uh, you know, a media, and he, he revealed that uh, uh, a friendly country was uh, pressurizing him to do, recognize, uh, you know, Israel. But he was pointing to, you know, uh, Saudi Arabia. But you have rightly pointed out it's not the Saudi Arabia, but uh, Pakistan has been getting pressure from the United States as well. But uh, uh, as we have seen in the past, Pakistan uh, did not change its stance when it's come to Pakistan and, uh, you know, Israel relationship. But at, at the moment, what I can tell you is that Imran Khan has uh, revealed he was under pressure, but one thing has uh, that has happened uh, goes into his favor. That is, uh, Imran Khan is closely watching the situation in the Middle East, as we have seen that United Arab Emirates has established connection with Israel. Imran Khan is closely watching, but he did not immediately give a positive reaction to Mohammed bin Salman and Trump administration, but he's getting pressure from both sides. Uh, Mohammed bin Salman and uh, Trump administration as well. Now, uh, certainly, the, uh, at least the reports on this story are getting attention in Israel, raising some eyebrows. But Prime Minister Khan there, he, he said no way to recognizing Israel, that he could stay in following the tradition of the country's founder there. Is that the way that most people in Pakistan feel? Well, uh, 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 as I told you earlier, Pakistan and the people of Pakistan, they are very hawkish to uh, the Israel. And one thing is very common here in Pakistan, uh, that Pakistani, millions of Pakistani please, for every ill that comes to Pakistan, it must be uh, coming from, uh, you know, uh, Israel. So Pakistanis, unfortunately, have been blaming Israel, India, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, United States for every failure uh, for Pakistan. But it is going to change. Right now, what I am uh, observing here in Pakistan, that this is going to change because the liberal, the progressive, and the well-educated Pakistanis do believe that uh, uh, Pakistan should change its stance toward Israel because the Middle East, Arab countries, when we talk about Turkey, when we, were, when we talk about United Arab Emirates, they all have, to some extent, uh, you know, uh, uh, establish relationship with uh, Israel, then uh, there is no harm for Pakistan to establish such type of relationship as well. And according to my sources, at intelligence level, uh, Pakistan's ISI and uh, uh, Israel Mossad, they, they have a very good connection. Uh, th this is what I have been getting uh, from my sources. But uh, uh, as your question is concerned, I think uh, the mood is getting a positive change in Pakistan. A number of people want the Pakistani government to establish relationship with Israel, but they are very few in number. But uh, let's see what I think within, a, within a five to ten years, there must be uh, and there should be a number of Pakistanis who will support, who will be supporting their governments to establish connection with Israel. We hope that that resistance is eroding somewhat and that 
Someday in the near future, there could be peace and normalization between our countries here. Kaspar Klasra, thanks for joining us from Pakistan.